Hi, Chris here for Tanker Tech and welcome to the channel. Well, today we are going to have a look at a free app that will let us easily control the volume for individual applications. So let's get started now. So here we are in the desktop and basically what I will do is go to the start menu, then simply have to click on the first letter, press M on your keyboard, enter, and then here you are, Microsoft Store. Or if you have a shortcut, of course, you can go to the shortcut. Like so. Ta-da! It's even easier. <laughs> anyway, once you are here, you just have to type here true, not even Trump. <laughs> and you can see that the app appears. Just click on it and wait for it to load get you can notice it's free if you want to log in or if you are already signed in this won't pop up no thanks for me it will still load the app and here you can see it's automatic it load the app so why this is a good app for me oh, you can see already i can launch it it was pretty fast too just launch it like so and it will show you a little uh, GIF of uh, what to do or how to use it. Let me go through for you. It will be even better. So here you can see you can, if you want, disable this. All right. You have the privacy policy. Learn more if you want to. So you can go privacy and policy here if you want to. Close this. Oh, this is my uh, video. I'm uh, listening to my uh, song that I create if you would like to. Uh, all right, uh, learn more. It will be the same. Okay, uh, you can read if you want to. So basically, once this is done, I close. And what do I have to do here? Okay. You can see it's not on. That's why you believe. Actually, it's here. You can see it's here trumpet. So if you don't want to mistaken this with that, all right, I'll show you what I mean by that. So I right click on the taskbar. I do taskbar setting here. And here, select which icon appear on the taskbar. Taskbar, sorry. So here we are. Okay. And I can go to air trumpets here. Simply toggle on the air trumpet from off to on. I close this. I can close this one as well. So here you notice I have two of those. The simplest way to change is you hover on the Hilt Trumpet, do a right click, go to settings, press general, or if you want, you can type in whatever. Uh, let's say if I put uh, sounds, for example, uh, there is no result, okay? But uh, if I put a uh, shortcut, hmm? this is for you if you want uh, to have a shortcut for whatever setting there is. All right, so legacy setting, this is use the legacy trumpet icon and I turn it on. Okay. As soon as I turn it on, you notice for those who wasn't looking here that the logo has changed. So now you know which one it is. Okay. You can go to the about. This is uh, if you want to send the report. And since we turn it off, if you want to turn it on, this is how it is. You can send the uh, feedbacks if you want or collect through troubleshooting data. Okay, uh, and this is, of course, the shortcut. So go to home, this is what it is. Basically, all that the app does, it's this. You can see, if I want to reduce the volume, I can reduce the volume here. Okay, and right away, it will be reduced. This is for the headset. As you can see here, it's a headset. So I can do the normal one. If I want more options, this is all the things that are plugged in or are able to allow. Another things that I can do, it's if I right click on here, okay, I, you can change the default, okay? You can, if you want, always use the default playback device. Okay, or if you want, I can right click here and this one, I remove it. I show you the other one was simply to close, but it doesn't do anything. It just closed the pop-up. Once I'm here, it's very easy. 
Now, if you want, you have the settings. You have either the volume mixer, which is quite nice. However, if you want to move it, you can see it's not as smooth. Maybe this is because of my graphic card, it's not powerful enough, but uh, what to do? All right, so I have all these. I can close it here. So if you want to stream, this is a, a even better. Let's see if I uh, open OBS here. You can see that the OBS will be in here and you can do your setting from here. So which is pretty good if you don't have a mixer. The other one, uh, with a right click of course, was if you go to Window Legacy, it can open the settings for you, which normally you have to go uh, once you are here, it's quite difficult to go. Hmm? Uh, if you see I have open some setting and all that. This one you can also do it from here. Huh? Window leg Legacy and uh, you can even open the volume mixer if you want to. But trust me, this one here, it's better, at least, at least for me. Once you are in the sound setting, you can go through and change the default that you want to. Recording microphone, for example, I can change if I want to. Another thing I wanted to show you, so you will notice that when I will unplug my headset, this will disappear and it will go to the default one. So let me do that now. Are you ready? Look at what's happened here. As soon as I plug back my uh, headset, you will notice it goes back to the headset. I still have all the other options or whatnot here. Okay. The things that I you can also do if you want, you will notice that here I have a VLC media player, but as soon as I close it, then the app is not shown here anymore, okay. which is another good feature. You can also, uh, if you want to, mute by left clicking on here. When you left click once again and mute, or if like me, uh, you have a fast scroll wheel, like so, I can simply go down and up with one flick. It's another option. You can as well, if you want, click anywhere you want and function it with the scroll wheel, if you want. You notice that the increment with my wheel it's by two, two digits, huh? not by one. But it's still fine tuning compared to if you put it here and try to adjust it, depending on the mount that you have. It might not work perfectly, right? Now, the other option that you have, it's in here, in window. You can, if you want to, have the same here to switch in between. Huh? I just have to click here, 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 and here it will do the same. If I want to, I just can go here and enable it. So you have the volume mixer here, like you have in the normal window here. You have the open volume mixer, like so, with everything, if you want to do some changes or adjustment or turn off, whatever. And you have the same here, if you prefer this view, which I don't know why you will, since now you saw how easy it was. So now if you want to know how to switch from one output to another because depending on how you set your uh, windows because this is not the default application it's just uh, a grouping of applications okay so let's say in here all right i put the default in basically my monitor huh? if i do like so it will go to, to the monitor all right so if i have any sound it will go through the monitor and here, if you see, it goes to the default one. That's the good things about it. But here you notice that this only is playing here. The reason is, is because here, when I right click here, I selected where I want the output to be individually. So it will stay here unless I always use the default playback device as I was mentioning before. So if you mistaken me, set it in here, then to change it in here trumpet, it's as easy as the right click solution here. Huh? Okay. So let me close this, let me close that. You saw 
how it was. If you have any questions or you are not sure on something I did not touch about in this video, just let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys. You can do your YouTube things now. Like if you want to. Subscribe. You can as well. And also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me what you do not like it about. So thank you very much. Stay safe guys and bye now.